Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome again to Granny's Cook Good Kitchen. Y'all, it is raining outside, so we're going to eat something light, but something filling. Something quick and something simple. As you can see here, today is going to be all about, remember that pasta salad y'all saw me mukbanging on? Well, y'all going to get to see me actually put it together today. I've already prepped my veggies and my meats. I chopped up my tomatoes here. You can do your tomatoes as fine as you like, as chunky as you like. Cucumbers, my ham, this is um, brown sugar honey ham. Green bell peppers to your liking, red bell peppers to your liking, and finely chopped green onions. This is all of what goes inside of my pasta salad. So y'all, we got that already chopped and ready to go. And remember, all of our descriptions will be below in our description box. Is that good? All right. I've already uh, boiled my pasta. You know, I told you I like my pasta to cook anywhere between 11 to 12 minutes so it can be al dente. So we're going in with our pasta. I just already had it separated, and I normally just put in maybe this, is, and that was just one pack. All right, let's go in with a little seasoning. And this is just what I do. Just what y'all see me doing, this is what I do. Of course, with clean hands. This is black pepper that I'm putting in. Even though I boiled my pasta, had my water salted, I'm still going in with a little salt. Remember I told you my special seasoning? Celery seed, yes. That's that special touch that everybody be like, it was something in there. I can't, I just can't put my hand on it. Celery seed, it makes all the difference for this pasta salad, I kid you not. So this is what I normally would do. I would normally like layer put my pasta in in layers and do my seasoning. Okay. So, I'm gonna go in with some of my veggies. Just grab them. Cucumbers. And the cucumber really gives it that freshness. It be so crunchy all while you're eating it. And like I said, you can add seafood meat to this, but the only thing that I would suggest if I was was would have this a seafood pasta that it's gonna be that you're gonna serve it the same day maybe in the refrigerator for a day maybe so but i know with the ham or with uh pepperoni it can really stay in your refrigerator it can last you like about a week or a little bit over a week so we're gonna add in some of these tomatoes and then i just grab this ham because it's just regular sliced ham and I just take my kitchen shears and I just cut them and just spread them out like this. And just kind of mix it in. Look at those beautiful colors, y'all. Pretty, right? This salad is so good, y'all. I mean, when I tell you it's a cold dish, but it's all in one. And I'm going to have some barbecue meatballs with this today y'all like I say something quick but it's gonna be so filling all right let's go in with this Italian dressing now I said zesty and let me tell you what I use <clears throat> I've tried different brands but y'all when I tell you I know this free commercial for them but when I tell you this brand here Clover Valley yes Dollar General Kraft I tried it all this brand here, make sure you get zesty. It's something about it, it's it's something in theirs that honestly the other brands doesn't have that makes this pasta salad stands out differently from all others. So this is what I use. And like I say, when I find something that works, I don't change it. So just going in with some of this. Normally when I layer, I go ahead on and just put the whole bottle. Because you got to give it some time for this pasta 
for the dressing to saturate into the pasta and the veggies. Some people like to eat this right out of the refrigerator. Some like to eat it before it goes into the refrigerator, but honey, with me, it doesn't matter. With my folk, it doesn't matter. See how it comes together? Oh, y'all. Just make this lip store popping, smacking. Already. Yes, honey. I told my granddaughter, every time I go back and look at that mukbang when I was eating that pasta salad, it just makes my mouth twerk, twerk, twerk. Make me want to eat more, more, more. So I decided to do it today here. All right. Let's go in with the rest. And this is pretty much it. I normally would use three, three to four bottles, depending on how much I'm making. But today it's just gonna be three bottles because this is this is not really as much. So we're going back in with our season. Like I say, if you season in layers, then that way all of your season will be all the way through. Just like what we did with that bottom layer, we're doing the same thing with this top layer. And honey, you're gonna completely mix all this together. And you got yourself some good pasta salad. When I first saw this salad, <clears throat> I was at my friend's house some years, years ago. Probably 20 some years ago, Sheila. And she tried to get me to taste it. And during that time, I wasn't really too crazy about tomatoes and cucumbers. And I said, no, no. Okay, I don't think I don't think I tried. She said, "Girl, my kids love it." I said, "I believe it because she's a good cook." So when I started working at this place, um, we always had department luncheons, potluck luncheons. So this particular day, everybody didn't come through with what they were supposed to be bringing. So y'all, the only thing we was there to eat that day was this girl. She was known for her pasta salad. Another particular person, she was known for her pasta salad. And it was some barbecue drumettes, barbecue wings that was there. So I told my friend, girl, I said, girl, shoes, I don't like that. Um, she said, well, just try it. Try it with just a little of the meat. She said, eat a little piece of the meat and then try a little of the, um, the pasta salad. So, okay, everybody eating out. Nobody was going out that day, so I didn't have no other choice. So I tried it. I bit a little piece of the barbecue meat, and then I ate just a little salad. And I didn't realize that the Italian dressing, you know, that I didn't realize all this time, all of that time, the salad dressing actually had that tart to it, that tartness to it. And I love, you know, like tartness. So I'm like, okay, well, this will, it would taste pretty good, you know, when I tried it with the barbecue. And then when I start, you know, like trying it at home, that's when I start putting my own spin on to it. You know, adding more like peppers and the green onions, the different kinds of um, ham. And i just been liking it ever since. So, you know, normally we would have parties or whatever, a little get-together. I would like to, you know, it, it, it goes well with uh, spicy wings, barbecue wings, fried wings, baked wings, fish, pretty much any kind of meat. It goes with it. And then you could just eat it by itself because it has meat in it. Now, if you want to make it a vegetarian dish, you don't have to add no type of meat. Just go with your veggies and the pasta. Y'all, look at those pretty colors. I'm going back on top with some more of this black pepper and, of course, some more celery seed. And this is all. This is, this is it. This is it. Make sure you shake your um, your Italian dressing up. Make sure you shake your bottle up really, really good. And we're going in with the whole bottle. Now, as it's set, and as the dressings really just marinate and saturate, and if you see where, uh, if it's uh, kind of dry, I always tell people, like when I fix it for somebody, make sure you stir it. And if you see you need more dressing, then you add you more in it. That's all you have to do. Look at this. Look at these colors, y'all. Just look at this. Honey. Yeah, this is a good dish. 
And see, it makes a lot. This was one pack of ham. I actually had about two because I'm thinking when I, I got two, normally I get two when I make a big punch bowl size full. Um, but I, I, I didn't need both packs. So just one pack of ham. Um, actually two big size cucumbers. Now let me tell you something about the tomatoes real quick, what I like. I like to get the small tomatoes. You know how you can get them like three or four to a pack? where they're kind of firm. I don't I don't like to get the real soft, juicy tomatoes. I like to get the firm ones. And this is it, y'all. This is our pasta salad. All right. It's looking good. We're going to give this just a little test, test. Why are you here? Don't go nowhere. I want you to stay right there where you are. Because you got to see this. You got to see this, y'all. Look at this. Look at that. Hang on one second. Look at those beautiful colors. Get that thumbnail right there. Hey, you can do this right in your own kitchen. Honey, you can eat off that about three or four days. All right. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna grab one out of here. One meatball, because it is piping hot. All right, let's go in. Look at this. Look at those colors, y'all. Can't wait. Mm. I'm telling you, Dodge Young, Cover Battle, y'all need to have me for a commercial because I promise you, I wouldn't use another brand. There is no other brand. Nobody could even convince me to use on my pasta salad other than this. I would drive to five and six different Dollar Generals until I find this right here. Seriously, I will. If one doesn't have it, I'm going up the road to the next one. If I can't find it, I just won't make pasta salad. Y'all, this is so good. These cucumbers, the ham, the tomatoes, the bell pepper, Cut them up real, real fine. I promise you, all this works and all of it comes together. So good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look at that. Fire food. And today is Wednesday, honey. And this is it. Look at that. Just look at that. Mm hmm. So, so good. Y'all. Oh, my goodness. Give this recipe a try. Try this pasta salad. Mm -mm. And you'll see. You will even be making this from here on out. Oh, yes, you will. Mm hmm. Mm hmm It was so quick. It's very simple. The only the only little time it is in is chopping up your veggies. Once you chop those up and out the way, boil that pasta. Hey, you ready to put this meal together? And then you're ready to do like what I'm doing now. <laughs> Eating, honey. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. Don't worry about that Jane Brown picture, y'all. It's somebody. Don't worry about that. I'm already standing on the good foot, honey, because I'm eating. And on that note, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Love somebody, help somebody, and rejoice all while you're doing it. Give this a try. One more look. One more. Right there. Bye, y'all. Thank you.